I think graffiti is, in some ways, art and in some ways, vandalism. It depends on what is on or what is being graffiti. Um, if it's something like very crude, I consider that graffiti. But if it's something like that's not meant in a hurtful way or like mean, then I think that might be art. I think it's an art form when done properly. I don't think it should be put on uh, buildings not owned by the artist or without permission just because that's kind of vandals and that's not cool. It's like just going to someone's house and drawing on their walls, which you would never do. There should be areas where it, it's allowed to be done and uh, I really don't think that there's enough because it is, a, it is an art form. sort of as a, a way of like marking territory, even like flirting in a way. Um, people would be putting their tag or their name down. And it was really, the art of it was not, was sort of, I don't know, um, it was serving the purpose of getting like the name across and getting popularity and all that kind of stuff. So simple, like if you, if you the ones that I remember, um, um, dicing and cornbread and some of these early ones, they really were like, it was like someone's signature with spray paint. Um, and, and it was a kind of a defiance, it was like a, it was, it was against the man, you know, they were like, it, was, it was more political on some level, if, if there was anything beyond the self-promotion, it was only political on that level. There, was, there really wasn't the objective to kind of create um, art or, or social change, it was mostly just in, in you know, flipping the bird approach. urban centers of New York City is pretty much the, the birthplace of graffiti art. Um, we're talking about the five boroughs um, and young, young men, and a few women, but mostly men, young men, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, um, decided to, that they needed to express themselves and say, you know, that we're here, we exist, and it's sort of like a primal scream, but in a visual form. Uh, This evolved into uh, sort of a competition of sorts, which has been the healthy, healthy aspect of graffiti and, and is what makes it so strong today is the fact that you've got hundreds and thousands of people looking at each other and their, their output, both the prolificness of it, also the skill in saying, I'm gonna one-up you. And that one-upmanship is directed at the creativity of it, not just for the sake of being one-up. One of my favorite um, examples of, of graffiti that I think is really ambitious and really exciting and is certainly art is I think, I think it's off the Newkirk stop in Brooklyn. Uh, I don't really remember exactly. It's like it's it's between two stops or maybe three stops and. Um, the artist did sort of a whole graffiti, I don't even know what you call it, it's not exactly a scene, there's text, there's figures, there's um, atmospheres, and it's all based on the speed of the train and it animates the way a flipbook would sort of animate. So as you go from uh, through the stops, you watch the wall and it's in the beginning it's kind of slower, and then uh, however, I don't know if it was, I'm sure it wasn't worked out with, math, with mathematics, but a certain amount of instinctive, instinctual understanding of like how this animation should work, and it starts to wrap up the anime as the train moves, and I think that's sort of maybe the most stunning example of, of graffiti art.
Is there a certain graffiti? It's nature's wonder. Almost like the aurora borealis, but not quite as good. You know, it takes uh, artistic expression to be able to conjure up such a phenomenal piece of uh, artism. Graffititized, graffitizement, um, graffitiligion, graffitism, graffitor, graffitical.